Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Miketz. The question of the week is, how can we free ourselves from the exile mentality? So in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Miketz, the Torah portion begins and it says, by Yehi Miketz Nasayim Yomim. It was after a period of two years, and Yomim is referring to the days that are included in those years, and Parai had a dream. That's the literal insight. The Zoyar says, it's referring to Miketz HaYomin, referring to the end of times when Mashiach is going to come. So the Rebbe asks, how can you have two opposite insights in the same verse? Whether it's referring to at that time when Pari is dreaming, or it's referring to when Mashiach comes. So the Rebbe explains that when Yosef HaTzadik went down to exile, the reason why he went down to exile wasn't, God forbid, to go into exile. But the main reason why Yosef went into exile was, was to prepare the redemption. The focus was on the redemption versus on the exile. And based on this, Rebbe explains, that's why Yosef gathered all the silver. Why did he gather all the silver? Because silver in Hebrew is kasef. It comes from nichsef nichsafti, the tremendous love that we have for the Jewish people and the Jewish people have for Hashem. So Yosef was gathering all that love all that powerful love so that the Jewish people will have the love for Hashem that will be the power for them to get through exile that they're going through. So in other words, Miketz HaYomim, the Rebbe explains, is referring to the end of the era. Yom is referring to two days. Two we know is which, which two spheres is, is considered the two. Chachma and Bina. Chachma and Bina. What happens when you serve God from intellect? Chachma and Bina. So then when there's things that you struggle with, you do it because of Iskafi. You force yourself to do it. However, if you reach a higher level, Miketz HaYom, you don't necessarily serve God on the lower level of just Chachma and Bina. You reach a level, you're serving God on a higher level from Kasser, from Tainug. So it ended the era of doing things just because and you had to struggle to be a Jew but you had tremendous time again pleasure for Hashem and the Rebbe connects this same idea in reference to Hanukkah that we're celebrating this week we know Hanukkah candles you light them until the expression in Talmud is Ad the Kalya Rigla Tamadoi until the people on, on foot would, would be out of the market. And in other words, what the Rebbe explains spiritually, it refers to uh, we light the Hanukkah candles till we get rid of the left foot, the negativity. And the only thing we have left is the right foot, which is represented by Tainug and pleasure. And as we know, the Zoyer says that in the level of Atik, there's no left side, there's only right. So the goal is to reach the infinite pleasure, which is only on the right side, which is in the level of Tainug. In other words, when a person experiences real pleasure, which is sourced in Atik, then that's ultimately, that will bring the ultimate redemption. So the, so the Rebbe connects the two ideas. It was the end of the Shnasayim Yomim, which means it ended the period of Chachma and Bina, where you were just doing things from a level of Iskafia, you were just going to go ahead and practice restraint, but you reach the level of Atik, which is also connected to what's going to happen when Mashiach comes. We're going to reach the level of have true pleasure for Hashem. So the answer to the question, how can we free ourselves from, from the exile mentality? By living like Yosef at Tzadik. We connect to Atik. We connect to the real pleasure. And having the awareness that the ultimate redemption comes by connecting to Atik, by having real pleasure. That's how we bring redemption in our lives even today. This week's class is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Arye Leib, Shlom ben Yosef, and Rachel Baslipa. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. For more information, please see our website, ChabadSWF.org. Have a great, blessed week, and happy Hanukkah. Shavua Tov.